Hi, my name is Bailey Siri Crowder. Um, this is for our thesis project for our AGR 700 class. Um, we're almost to the end of the semester, so this is our third quarter report. Um, it's uh, so much fun watching everybody else's videos and see how talented and everybody else is with all their ideas and how they're incorporating them into their work and life and everything. It's so interesting to watch. Um, congrats on those graduating soon. That's very exciting. Um, I'm sure you're anxious to get there, and I don't blame you at all. Um, so for those who have been watching my videos, I know you're aware that I made um, a life change or a job change. Um, so I currently work in the medical field, so this has kind of been um, different to work through for me since I'm not a part of the ag industry anymore. Um, and you also know that I changed my project topic. Um, I was looking at the lack of broadband internet in rural areas, which is a very prevalent and um, issue, but it was just harder to get into and wasn't really making me excited about it. Um, there wasn't much to look up, or look up or investigate into, so um, I was thinking about project ideas and came around to, you know, the black vulture um, when it comes to the cattle industry, specific, specifically in Kentucky, but also all throughout the United States. Um, so that's what I've been looking into. I've been digging deep and get, trying to get as much information as I can um, to write up this thesis. And then my end goal is to create a pamphlet um, to distribute to my local USDA office where I used to work, um, NRCS office extension with the agents I used to work with. Um, and I'm even going to look into making a PowerPoint um, just so that can also be shared and distributed. I feel like that'll be helpful for those offices to use if they'd like to for anything. Um, and then just to have the pamphlet sitting out for farmers to look at and um, use for their best whatever they would like to use it for, take it home or not or whatever. Um, but like going into this project, you know, I've seen that I didn't realize how much the population of black vultures have increased. Um, and I knew that they were a problem, you know, working at the USDA office, we have a program specifically if you lose livestock to um, black vultures and what you can do about them and um, possibly getting a payment down, down later on down the road depending on how much you lost. So I saw firsthand how big of a problem this was. I just wasn't sure on the scale of, like on the larger scale of how big of a problem this is. So it's kind of been interesting to see that um, and really dig deep into that and my end goal is to, I guess I should reiterate that, is how to deter the black vultures um, is what I'm specifically looking at. Um, I'm gonna, I've been looking at, you know, how they got into the United States, how they migrated here from Mexico, and just kind of gathering all that information. And then my end goal is to have several ways to deteriorate the, dete deteriorate, deter these black vultures from um, farms and calves and injured cows and things like that. So that's what I've been looking at specifically. Um, it's been very interesting. I had no idea, you know, that some farmers use things like green lasers to deter the vultures. Um, they use audio harassment. Um, and some even, the like, very common one um, is the, the effigy of killing a vulture in front of a pack of vultures and then hanging that for them to see and then deterring them from coming back for more. Um, but they are like federally protected so that's also been interesting to read into I mean I knew that from working for the federal government but it wasn't like we were given a lot of information it was just here's the rule don't break it kind of thing so yeah I did not know that they were um, protected by the Migratory Bird Treaty Act so that's been interesting to see um, so they can't be killed or destroyed and that's what's such a major problem is you know farmers can't just shoot them off you know they could get in major trouble with that if they're caught uh, a lot of will tell you different that they shoot them anyway um, and that they won't get caught. But, you know, legally, you can't really give that kind of advice. You can't really kill that. So um, it's been interesting looking into that. Um, and there is a permit, so you can apply for a permit to kill some of them, If and it's hard to qualify for that as well. So it's just been um, digging through a lot of information and working through it um, and just figuring out the best way to put it out. Um, I do want to, like, make it simplified, but not for the fact that, I mean, farmers are some of the most intelligent people I know, but it's just for, like, um, especially where I am in northern Kentucky, there's a lot of new farmers and a lot of new people coming to the field, so I just want to make it 
more understandable. I mean, some new people don't know the difference between a turkey vulture and a black vulture. Um, so they can look similar unless you know that their heads are two different colors. So it's just, I want to make sure that this report is very clear and concise and, um, something that I can, like I said, transfer to a pamphlet that's going to make sense for everybody involved. Older farmers that have been in it for 50 years, new farmers that, you know, are just now coming into the field and, you know, especially in urban areas where they, you know, didn't have as much education in the agriculture community like all of us have. So, um, I'm just trying to get all of that together and make it make sense. Um, <laughs> that was a cluster of a video, which I'm sure you guys are used to if you've been watching my videos. Um, but my brain bounces back and forth all the time. Um, but like I said, you know, I'm very excited about this project. It's definitely kept me entertained and intertwined in it. And I really appreciate it. Um, I've struggled, you know, with what I can do with my project since I am out of the agriculture field. But I think, you know, creating a pamphlet at Powers Point for local offices, you know, is beneficial. Um, like I said, I have friends that I can still give it to and have them utilize that information the best way that they know how or can. Um, so I'm very excited. It's almost the end. Um, it's kind of crazy that to think that we've made it here already, but, um, I hope that made sense for anybody. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and just thank you for watching. I'm very excited.